Welcome to my introduction to networking course, typically abbreviated ITN. This will be for the CCNA version 7 curriculum. All right, welcome to my ITN version 7.02 packet tracer lab file 465 connecting a wired and wireless LAN. So you'll notice it just started about 20 seconds ago. Home PC and router PC just automatically connected via the wireless. So let's work through this and let's see what we can accomplish. So here we have our address diagram. And I'm actually going to go ahead and snip that and put it off to the side of my screen. That makes this a lot easier. So I'm going to grab my snippet tool. And move it off to the side of the screen. That way I can quickly keep going back and referencing it based off of uh, my needs. So here we can see completion is zero. So let's work through this. Read the background. And let's start with part one. Part one, connect to the cloud. Connect to the cloud at uh, router zero. At the bottom, click on connections. All right, so down here, we have our network devices. And some of these may be locked. So as you click on the top icons, the bottom icons change. It wants us to just handle connections. So when I click on connections, the bottom changes. And I may get a giant list of devices or types in this list. And here I just have common ones. The lightning bolt is typically used for an auto cable. So at the bottom, click on the orange lightning bolt open up available connections, we did that. Choose the correct cable to connect R0 F00 to cloud ETH6. Cloud is a switch, so use a copper straight through. Basically, uh, we're using basic ethernet, so we're gonna use a solid black line. That's a straight through cable. The black dotted line is a crossover cable and that's used for like devices. Connect to R0. It said R0 F00, so that's fast ethernet 00. And we're gonna connect it to ethernet six or ETH six. All right, step one done. Step two, connect to the cloud, the cable modem. Choose the correct cable for the cloud coax seven to the modem port 01. If you mouse over these cables, it'll also tell you, here this little gold straight lines fiber, the black lightning bolt's phone, blue is lightning bolt is coax. I'm going to connect it to cable modem, port zero, and I will connect that to coax seven. All right, that takes care of step two. Part two, connect router zero. Connect router zero to R1. Choose the correct cable for R0, serial 000. Use a serial cable. So that red lightning bolts are serial cables. One has a clock, one does not. That's because while they may look like different cables, they're actually the same cable. It's just one is a DCE and one is a DTE side. So they're made to be identical. It's one side has the clock. That's it. And in modern day networks, we normally don't have to worry about that. And it doesn't tell us which one to use the clock. So we're okay here. Router serial zero to router one serial zero, and we're good there. Step two, choose the correct cable to connect router serial 
sorry, router 0F01 to the NetCAD PKF0. NetCAD.PK is a server. F is fast Ethernet, so we're going to use a straight through cable. Router 0, FA0 is going to go to NetCAD 0. You'll notice it's not turned on. So router there are computers that will traditionally use the same wire to transmit. So a router to a computer is actually like devices. So we need to delete that. We need to do a crossover. You'll notice I got the points by plugging something in. Even though it wasn't working, it had two red. That's because the transmit and receive pairs are identical. So when you're dealing with a computer and a computer, we have to use the crossover. When you're dealing with a switch and a switch, then we can use a crossover. If you're dealing with a computer and a switch, then we can go back to our traditional straight through. Like devices have to use a crossover cable. So that is a good point to bring up. I got the points even though I used the wrong cable. So don't focus too hard on the completion. Make sure that we're getting green lights and we're using the correct configuration. Step th part two, step three, configure, sorry, connect R0 to the configuration terminal. Choose the correct cable to connect R0's console to configure a serial connection. And we're going to do that through the configuration terminal of the machine is named configuration terminal. So that will be a console cable. We will connect it to the PC into the RS-230 port. RS-232 port, which is a clever way of saying serial, and we'll plug it into the console port of the router. Make sure uh, the light on the cable turn black. Here the console port uses black to identify it, so we are good there. That takes care of part two. I'm going to scroll down some. Part three, connect the remaining devices. Connect R1 to switch. All right, that means we're going to be doing a straight through. Router 1, F1, one zero. Oh, that might be a typo because router one does not have F one slash zero. It has F zero slash one, and we will connect it to the. Oh, here it says path zero one, and it shows a different cable. We can't plug that in. That cable does not exist. That actually is a fiber cable. That's why it was saying fast one zero, not fast zero one. So the port numbers are very specific. That way we can make sure we're plugging the right cable into the right thing. Alright, that took care of Part three, step one. Part three, step two, choose the correct cable to go from cable modem port one to the wireless home router. Typically, that will be a straight through. Got a cable modem and a router are not the same. All right. Choose the correct cable to connect the wireless router ethernet one to the family PC. That should also be a straight through. All right, so it does show completion of 100%, but we've only got to part three, step 
three. So we need it to keep going. So many people get hung up on the, oh, completion is done. Yes, completion is done because the way Packet Tracer is made, we can only do completion based off of uh, certain action items. So ping me necessarily may not work. So we actually want to verify the connectivities. So let's check. Open up the family PC and go to our desktop web browser. And we want to navigate to the web server. HTTP netacad dot pka netacad nope oh, one too many a's All right, so it did take a second or two. I had to hit go a few times, but it did finally connect. So it works. So for step one, done. Ping the switch from the home PC. Home PC, desktop, get to my command line. I did increase the font size of the packet tracer so it's a little bit easier to read ping what's the IP address of the switch well again we go back to our address chart switch 172.16.0.2 that's why this address chart is very handy and I normally snag it from the beginning switch 172.16.0.2 we want to make sure basic connectivity. First one should be an ARP because there's no data, so it might time out. All right, the first two were ARP requests, so they both timed out. And if I ping it again, connectivity is good. All right, so part four, step two, done. Part four, step three. Open the router's con uh, configuration terminal. Con terminal. Sorry, go to configuration terminal machine. Go to desktop. Go to terminal. The default basics are fine. And here is the router's interface. Open the terminal of the configuration terminal. Press enter to view the now it wants us to do a show IP interface brief. That is not going to work. Show IP interface brief. We normally have to be in a executive mode to do some of the show commands. But here it is okay. So part four, step three, done close out of it moving on to part five examine the cloud click the physical workspace and do shift P and L that is hilarious So we can't navigate between them even though that's part of the exercise. So in the physical, we would have a home sitting. In the logical, we have our cloud. If you click on cloud, we can see what type of device it is. Exam, so nothing else we could do for part five, step one. So examine the primary network. Again, nothing we can do. Because we don't have access to that section. So even 
looking at all of these, we don't have our home city because we don't have access to the physical. So it's a bust. Examine the home network. Again, no physical. So it's locked. It just is what it is. So this completes lab 4.6.5, connecting a wired and wireless LAN. Questions, issues, thoughts, concerns, reach out. Thank you. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Again, with this material, being able to ask questions and discuss some of the topics in the lecture help build long-term retention, so do not be afraid to communicate with this topic. Again, I'm here if you need anything. Thank you.